Hey, Steve O'Brien with the second last Entertainment City of 2017. As such, we're taking a look back at the year that was at the box office. The beleaguered box office, that is. It was a tough year for movie theaters as they grapple with the growing popularity of streaming services like Netflix. But that being said, there were still a number of big screen hits. From A Beauty and a Beast to Wonder Woman. Here we go. Who's the light? <laughs> Disney's live-action Beauty and the Beast reigns as the biggest box office smash of the year with a $1.2 billion haul globally. Back in March when it came out, Beauty and the Beast dominated headlines after it was revealed LeFou would be Disney's first openly gay character, adding a modern twist to a tale as old as time that led some groups to boycott the movie. I think that this entire conversation has been so blown out of proportion. For me, they're, they're, the movie speaks for itself. It's so entertaining. It's so incredible. And the relevant themes of the movie, like never judge a book by its cover, have it's never, powerful. it's never been more important. In June, Wonder Woman finally got her own big screen adventure. And the massive success of it, we're talking over $400 million in North America alone, had everyone asking what took so long. It's very important, I think, for all of us, men and women, that... You know, our kids have a f strong female figure to look up to. Just like boys has Superman and Batman, I think that girls and boys should have a female figure. What are you hiding, Peter? And their web-slinging comrade captivated everyone's spidey senses with the latest iteration of the Spider-Man franchise in Spider-Man Homecoming, starring the fresh-faced Tom Holland. I'm kind of calling him Spider-Boy. I, mean, I prefer Iron... Man Jr. <laughs> Homecoming raked in 334 million bucks at the North American box office. And rounding out the list, It, the creepy clown flick, gave chills and thrills to moviegoers to the tune of more than $327 million. It's more than a horror movie. There's heart, there's humor, and there's horror. The Triple H. Of course, Star Wars The Last Jedi is currently doing big business at the box office and will undoubtedly knock each of these movies down a rank to overtake Beauty and the Beast in the top spot. For Entertainment City, I'm Devo Brown.